Hi guys, so today I'm doing my March favorite, I believe. I think it's April. Yeah, it is April. Can't believe it's already April. But I'm doing my March favorites today because it is April, as I just said. And I really want to do this video for you guys because um, I've been, I guess, having some favorites. But I feel like I haven't done a favorites video in quite a while. So I really wanted to do one um, for you guys to show you what my favorites were this month. Um, it'd be expecting a favorites at the end of April to the beginning of May because I have definitely been using a um, quite a bit of products this month so far for the like couple days that it's already been of April and um, I know I'm maybe trying out a lot of other products this month as well and I do have some new makeup as for like a new palette that I'm using this month and stuff so um yeah without any further ado I'm gonna get started and I hope you guys enjoy okay so starting off I just have a foundation that I've been using a ton this month and it is the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour foundation I am in the shade uh, natural beige and I've been loving this at first I didn't like this whenever I first purchased this because I felt like it was super oily on my skin but now that I have actually been using it quite a bit my skin looks really clear um, I'm wearing it actually today and it does cover up a lot and it makes your skin look really really clear and flawless so this is a really good foundation it does last all day I do use it with the Urban Decay um, all nighter setting spray as well which probably also helps it last but um, it does last a long time also as well without the um, setting spray so I think it's a really good foundation I think you guys should all try it out because um, I love it and I think it's great so next I have two concealers for you guys the first one is the instant Asia wine from Maybelline and I I've been using this a ton this month because I have been lacking on sleep, I guess, lately. Oops, I just dropped that. And I have been lacking on sleep lately, so this is really nice to cover up dark circles and highlight underneath my eyes in the morning because it does make me look more awake in the morning. So I also love the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, I think Maybelline has really great concealers. Um, this concealer, mostly the label comes off super easy, so that's what kind of sucks about it. But I love this because it covers up blemishes so well. I don't even use my Boing My Benefit anymore because I feel like what's the use of buying a high-end expensive concealer if you can just get the same thing in a drugstore price that's actually half the price because the uh, Boing is 22 and I believe this is 11 um, to $10, so this is actually half the price. And it works just as well, so I love it and I rarely recommend it to anyone because it just covers up everything and does such a great job. Moving on to blush this month, I have been in love with the um, NYX blush um, in the color Peach. I think it's such a nice color to be using for the springtime, especially you know how it's transitioning into spring right now. It's such a nice uh, color. I think it's really pigmented and it just gives such a nice color onto the cheek. I use this every day. I just love it so much and it just gives a really nice color. As for mascaras this month, I have been using two. The first one is the Clump Crusher by Last Lash Blast from CoverGirl. Um, this is my base um, coat concealer. It, I mean concealer, not concealer, mascara. I curl my eyelashes and I use this because this just separates and it makes them look so natural and I just love this stuff. I think it just does a really good job as a base coat mascara. And then on top of that I use the Colossal Volume Express from Maybelline or I will use the um, Volume Express or Volume Volumizing from Maybelline. Um, the carbon block or from L'Oreal, sorry, the from the carbon block one, but I did leave that at James's house, so I don't have that with me right now. Um, but I really enjoyed this one as well. I think these do a really, really nice job on mascaras, and I actually am wearing it right now. But my eyelashes have been looking like this all day, so they probably aren't as fresh as they were this morning. But it does a really, really nice job if you want big um, and thick eyelashes that aren't too clumpy together. They do separate really nicely, and it does look really um, nice and big. So if you like that look, then I would highly recommend these two mascaras combined in together. So as for the last beauty thing that I've been loving this month, this is the Prim Rose Lipstick from Revlon. And I probably don't talk about this as much as I really enjoy it. I love this. This is the best drugstore um, lipstick there is. It's such a nice dupe to Snob or Pink Plaid from MAC and I love it. I do wear it by itself. I'm not wearing it today but it's such a nice neutral pink color. I do wear it by itself sometimes without a lip gloss um, because it makes such a nice color and I just think it looks like a really nice blush tone. If you wear the um, Mocha blush from MAC this is a really nice color to match with the blush if you are like the kind of person like me who likes to match your um, blush and lipstick a lot because it just looks more good together then I would highly recommend this and the Mocha blush from MAC but this is so, so nice and it does last a really long time and it goes on super smooth as well. So I do have two last things. The last thing or one of the last things is the Aromatherapy Stress Relief using with the Spirit Body Lotion from Bath and Body Works and I use this every night after the shower. I've been using this for about two months now. Um, I did get the big bottle on Black Friday a while ago and it is kind of down to the, um, I used about three-fourths of it so um, 
it's a really nice, it smells so good, it does relax me after you take a shower, it's so nice just to put on your body and then just lay in bed just because it's so relaxing and just gives such a nice smell for the springtime too. I think it's just a really nice um, naturey spring smell so I do enjoy this a lot. And then I also been loving my power stick from, I, I ordered this actually off of Amazon. Um, and what's so cool about it is because you can actually plug in your um, USB thingy right here um, for your phone and then you just charge your phone so it's on the go. It does last to up to about four to seven hours I believe. So it's really nice and then you also just recharge it. Um, it doesn't take batteries, you can just recharge it. So it does come with a charger, a charger and I believe I paid $11 for this on Amazon, seven to $11. Um, but I highly, highly, highly recommend it because it saves me all the time that I just throw up my purse because it's so nice and um, it's especially good for a plane flights too. Like if you like to be on your phone like me whenever you're on a plane, um, I think it's nice to have it. So this has been a lifesaver for me this past month. So that is the end of my March favorites video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful and gave you guys some really great products to try and I am going to be trying to get back onto a video schedule hopefully very very soon um, because I know my videos have been really just all over the place and you never know I'm going to upload. So, um, But otherwise I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys!